empty. This is what most gift shops in Bethlehem are this Christmas season. On display, a handmade replica of the grotto. Only this souvenir reflects the Holy Land's current reality, walled in and under siege by the Israeli occupation. A reality also squeezing Bethlehem's only hope for economic recovery, tourism. The street used to be the most beautiful one in town. Now there aren't even residents, not even passers-by. Our, our livelihood were here. We had the best life. But when the street was closed off, our situation got bad. A few steps away from Manger Square is Star Street, Bethlehem's ancient gateway now abandoned and derelict. According to Christian tradition, this is the street where Joseph and Mary entered Bethlehem. But for all its religious significance, there are no pilgrims here, and the shops have been put out of business. That's why local business owners here say this street is the real face of the tourism industry in Bethlehem. At Manger Square, pilgrims from across the world arrive at the Church of Nativity, where Christians believe Jesus was born. But studies show that's almost all they do here. And that, experts say, relates to Israel's control over the tourism industry. This directly affects income. In 2008, only a third of Holy Land visitors stayed overnight in Palestinian areas, compared to an average stay of seven nights in Israel. Inside the church, a group of Nigerian faithful are on a 10-day pilgrimage to the Holy Land. How much time are you spending in the Palestinian areas for your pilgrimage? Um, we are here um, perhaps about six to eight hours. But Christian pilgrims like these are going elsewhere in the occupied West Bank. Like the Herodian Park, a 20-minute drive from Bethlehem City, run by Israel's National Parks Authority. The staff banned us from entering, claiming we needed a permit from Israeli authorities. But you're in the West Bank, aren't you? No. You're not? We're in, in Judea. Are you? Okay. Do you get Palestinian tourists what coming or Arab who, tourists? Who, who, who are the Palestinian tourists, sorry. International law experts say these parks in the West Bank and the revenues they bring are for Palestinians to collect. At night, Bethlehem tries to show some Christmas cheer. Lights decorate the streets and the city's many historic churches. The painful reality contradicts our dreams, Jerusalem's Catholic patriarch said in his Christmas message. But he added, despite all that, our hope remains alive. Because, quote, hope does not mean surrendering to evil, it means resisting it. Nur Al Jazeera, Bethlehem.